Benvenuto, ciao and buongiorno. Welcome everybody to the review of this Ducati Multistrada V4S. I'm just about to go and get all my clobber on and we're going to go and take this brute out on the road and have some fun. I have been looking forward to making this video for quite some time. So I'll see you in a minute. Ciao. Ciao everybody. I'm out on the bellissima Multistrada V4S from Ducati. I've been looking forward to making this video for the two weeks I've been sat on the bike. I've had it for two weeks, it's going back in a couple of days. I just wanted to enjoy the bike for a couple of weeks, get to know it, and then uh, make the video just before it goes back. Yeah, first impressions, um, doesn't make any noise. But I've since become to appreciate that. It really doesn't make any noise until you're at full chat and then it does sing a bit. And I don't know if you can hear this. Hang on, clutch in. And then I'll pull the clutch out a little bit. Hear it? Hear it go up a notch. Listen, quiet. And it opens. The flaps open. Flaps. This has the smoothest quick shifter I've ever used. Any gear, at whatever speed. Yeah. Not under any load at all there. Smooth as any, it's almost as smooth as my DCT box on my Africa Twin. Up and down. Even from first to second. It's lovely and it's actually smoother using the quick shifter than it is using the clutch. For your everyday living on it, when you want to play on this, oh my god, it is so capable, so capable that it's mind-blowing really. I've probably ridden this bike faster than I've ridden any bike in the two weeks I've had it. It's got front radar and rear radar, so when anyone's in your blind spot, you get these little lights on your mirrors that light up to let you know that someone's there. And again, that is a brilliant piece of technology. Yeah, that's the nicest quick shifter, one of the nicest ones I've used. It's got a little pouch here to drop a phone in. Because the software on the screen allows you to connect your phone to it and then download the Ducati Connect app and also the Sigic app which is a mapping software, like a, a map app and then all the maps come through the screen you can control it all on the cursor there screen's easily adjustable, one hand up, down up, down the wind protection on this bike is fantastic but with that said, a lot of the time, because there's not much noise, you don't know how fast you're going. So you've really got to keep your eagle eyes on the dash. It's got touring mode, sport mode, enduro mode, urban mode. It's comfy to ride off-road. These Pirelli Scorpion Trail 2 tyres are fantastic. Never ridden on them before. On the road, they're superb, absolutely superb. It does not shift. Gives you full confidence. And surprisingly, in Enduro mode, I've been playing a bit on here, they've not skipped a beat. Okay, let's drop back out of Enduro. Into... Oh, no, back into touring, I think. Close the throttle. There we go. Just nip up here, see where this goes. Quick shifter, it's amazing. This is fast becoming one of my favourite bikes. It feels nice and light. It's not light feels it so it's obviously really well balanced super quick S 
super quick actually. Wheelies over every crest, beautifully as well. That quick shifter is tremendous, as are the brakes. Perfect straight line, then braking really hard as well. Watch. Amazing. This is a very, very, very good bike. That right, traction's taking over there, good lad. <laughs> it just, that <laughs> just wanted to wheelie then without me doing anything, just power. Brakes are amazing on this. Watch this crest. <laughs> Jesus, those brakes are absolutely amazing. Well, let me show you that again. This is the quick shifter, ready? I'll get off a clutch just to prove it. Perfectly smooth. Perfectly smooth. What was on Ducati on that? That's fantastic. It's so nice to ride steadily. There's nothing jerky, jolty. It's just perfectly balanced. And we'll whack it into sport mode and it's just mental. But still without making much of a sing and dance about it. Got like fins, wings, things at the bottom pointing down. So the faster you go, the more uh, downforce is being pushed on the front end. So to, to stop the front end feeling flighty. And trust me, when you're at full tilt, which I have been, um, apparently, it's, it's so planted, so still, so straight. Not at all, you know, it doesn't start dancing or anything like that. It's just, just carves through whatever you do to it. It'd be amazing abroad, this would on some twisties. The bonus of being an adventure bike, so you're upright, and the performance of a sports bike. This is one special bike. It's one of the best handling bikes I've ever ridden. Bang bang on the quick shifter, bang bang on a quick shift. Phenomenal vibe. These tyres have been beautiful. I've probably done three tanks worth since I've had it. And it'll be a fourth tank full, so maybe 800 miles tops by the time it goes back. I love how it wheelies over crests with such ease. Just a little tickle of the clutch and a little extra bit of uh, twist on the right hand. She just goes boom. The main service intervals are every 36,000 miles on this, and the other ones every 15,000 kilometres or two years for your oil and everything. So that's what 15,000 kilometres, what 8,000 miles something. Some got DIN sockets though. I don't know why manufacturers decide to use DIN sockets. It's got to be a reason, and I just don't know. It's got the hill hold assist, parking brake, so if you give your, your front brake a squeeze really tight, it'll put a parking brake on, and it'll stay on until you accelerate out of it. With the quick shifter, you just give it a little squeeze rather than a press or a flick. It's just a little squeeze, gentle squeeze, up or down, and it's so, so perfectly smooth. I'm gonna go and grab some tea, and I'll see you in a minute with the sun a little bit lower in the sky. See you in a minute, folks. I am back. I have uh, filled my belly. The sun is lower in the sky. I've just got to call and run a little errand, and then we shall carry on with what we are doing. Does anybody know what the relevance is where I am? Or know where I am, for that matter? Anybody recognise this place? And 
answers on a postcard. I'll be back in a minute. Well, it's been a long time since I've been down here. My old house, folks. My old house. The guy that bought it off us, Matt, he's, uh, he's stayed in touch ever since. He's a cracking lad, actually. And he sort of me, you know, um, any post and things like that that end up going there, which don't anymore and haven't for a long time. And he got in touch the other day just to let me know that there was a letter. So I'll just come down and collected it. And as it turns out, it's a it's a, it's a royalty check from uh, album sales. So I don't know if someone's been buying my album again. I don't know. It won't be enough to buy a house. Might be enough to buy uh, half a tank of fuel. <laughs> well, I've got another day on this bike tomorrow before I have to take it back to Silverstone on Thursday. I'll go down some... Um, back roads so you can see what the lights are like it's not super dark yet but cornering lights light let's uh, pick this up tomorrow let's hope for another glorious day like today Amazing machine. I'm back for the last day on this fantastic Multistrada. It's going back tomorrow morning. I've been spoiled, I tell you. During this loan of this bike, I've been really spoiled with this weather. Thank you, weather gods. Thank you. I've got to quickly run up to Meadowall to uh, the Apple Store, so I'm going to take an opportunity there to show you how good the radar cruise control is front and rear because you'll be able to see them both everything about this bike feels superior I know that sounds a bit strange but um, it just does everything just feels superior the handling the performance the finish you can tell you sat on something special you know this particular model I'm sat on costs uh, just shy of 24 grand the model starts at 19 and a half then by the time you put all the others, your bits onto it. This is this is the full fat, fully loaded version of this model. So the extras are like your center stand, the radar front and rear, heated grips, heated seats, Acropovic. I'm going to uh, show you how easy it is to do this cruise control. All I've just done is turn the cruise control on there. That little button there, I just pressed it on. It's not actually activated yet. Get up here and out of the way a bit. Nice looking machine. Right, I'm going to set my cruise control. I'm going to pull in behind this bike. him behind him right now that this bike is locked to that bike so when he accelerates this will accelerate up to the number that I set it at which was about 77 I think And now, because I'm not moving back into that lane, look, it'll pass, it'll go past it. Back up to 80, wherever it was. It'll lock to this car in front. And drop back down to, what are we on now, look, 74. VFR. So you don't have to brake, you don't have to accelerate. For the motorway, this is absolutely brilliant. And it will literally brake you right down to about 20 mile an hour. Because I tried that coming up to a junction. You can also select how close or far you want uh, the car in front to be. And you see on the, on the radar picture there, look, there's one dot in front of the, there's one line in front of the bike. 
but you've got a plus and minus here not the one on your cruise control plus and minus separate there look and that is how close or far you want to be to the car in front all right let us pin at 73 and I'll pull in here behind this car Right, let's now look at the mirrors then, the real radar. So look at my right hand side mirror. There's a car coming right up behind me, he's going to want to overtake in a sec. And as soon as he goes out of my view in the mirror, he will automatically be lit up there. Look at the mirror. See? That's brilliant. You can also choose to have that light as bright as you want motorway riding now would actually be a pleasure for chewing miles up to be uh, fantastic with regards to the radar you're safe up to whatever speed you set it at the car in front can't lead you astray but it will it will slow you down and take you back to the speed that you selected I absolutely love this radar system I love it you know at night as well, when these uh, mirrors light up like that, it really does keep you switched on. I think that is an absolutely fantastic piece of safety equipment. It's perfectly straight, perfectly smooth. I mean cruise control really, really, really is a bare minimum for a bike that can go touring really 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 need it and obviously this is coming from someone who's had a VFR 800 forever that hasn't got it and I've been across America on it I don't know if I've told you that trust me I would have killed for cruise control when I was crossing the plains of Texas or route 66 that's just a perfectly straight line where you can't take your hands off your throttle it would have been amazing to be able to just take your hands off and lean back on that bike. Low fuel. That's one thing, it seems to burn fuel quite quick, this bike does. That's probably something to do with the heavy throttle or my heavy right hand. Either that or I'm just doing more miles than I expect because uh, I'm enjoying myself so much. You know me, I always say on bike reviews, I always try to burn a tank of fuel, always. I try. Good testament to this bike then. This will be the fifth tank of fuel that I've put in. Five full tanks of fuel I've used on a press test. That's not bad at all. And I, you know, I've been looking forward to this one a lot. And I, I always said I didn't want to waste the loan period on this one. So I have uh, used it as much as I possibly can. It's really reassuring, you know, this rear radar. mirrors tell you when there's someone in your blind spot I love that the panniers there's something to talk about the panniers are a floating design so the front of the panniers either side hook over or well, the front nearest to me nearest to my arse is fixed as normal back hook is on a floating like shaft in between the in inside the bike so the back of the panniers move just like that wobble together this little like, strap together but they're connected by a, a bar that moves. So when you get big gusts of wind, the wind blows the back of the panniers to uh, soak up any vibes or any gusts rather than it just hitting you. I know Triumph do that as well. But yeah, when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, something's wrong with the panniers. It's just like on a floating rod. Pretty cool. Panniers, that's another one for the um, extras list on this bike. I'm back. All right, that's my little errand at uh, the Apple store done. Just sitting at cruise, locked as well. I've not touched anything since I set off from Meadowall. Still, and watch how slow it goes too, watch. I'm not gonna touch any brakes. I can turn that, I can go down the box without it changing it. Still with this car in front, look. Watch, watch, watch. Brake, 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 brake. This is the bike, not me. There we 
go. It's amazing. It really is amazing. I'm going to really, really, really miss that. You know, within the two weeks I've been using it, it's become, like, invaluable. That was something else with this rear radar that happened then when I was not filming. So, if, um, so someone's coming up your blind spot, if you see that he's coming up behind you, your mirror's lit up, and then you think, right, I'm going to overtake in a minute when he's past me, you indicate to overtake while that's lit up, saying that someone's already in your blind spot, it flashes really quick as if to say, look, are you sure you want to overtake? There's someone in your blind spot. I think that's bloody brilliant. With that said, folks, it is that capable and that almost perfect, I'd be in danger of losing my license because you can't feel any wind, so you don't really know how fast you're going. It's just totally planted. I just feel like I can hang off it. It wheelies beautifully, it stops beautifully, accelerates quicker than most things. Yes, it's certainly a tremendous bike, folks, in every way. And I, for one, would love one. Like I said, the only negative, there always has to be a negative, is that uh, you must be careful to keep that needle where it needs to be. Safety wise, it seems to be glued to the road. It's just probably the best handling bike I've ever had. It, it truly is. It just, everything about it feels fully planted when you're going at full speed, when you're going around a corner hanging off it, it just feels like it's going to look after you. Yeah, it's a special bike for sure. And like I say, if you do like that touch of class, it feels superior in every way. Can't really put to words what it is exactly, but it feels superior. One of the things I don't like is keyless. I'm a massive fan of keyless. You still need your keys to open the fuel cap. So you do need your keys. You know, you can't just like put them away and forget about them. You've still, you still need to be getting them out to, to fill your fuel cap, which is a bit of a bugger. On the other side of that scale, if you lose your key, you can still start your bike. You just need a pin code to start it. How cool is that? I haven't got the pin code for this, so I couldn't test it. But otherwise I would have left the key at home Started the bike with a pin code, gone for a quick ride and come back just to see. Amazing really. Another thing that, that uh, would drive me mad if it were mine, this little flap that houses your phone, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to tilt you down while I'm riding so I can concentrate. Look how off centre it is. It's not at all symmetrical. <laughs> that would drive me mad. Not a big deal, obviously, but still, it's there anyway. Total comfort, full electronic suspension for rider, rider pillion, rider pillion and luggage, totally configurable riding modes. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm really going to miss this bike, folks. As the sun's setting on my time on this fantastic Multistrada V4S, don't forget to do your housekeeping while you're here. Stick a thumbs up if you liked it. Please do subscribe. The Multistrada V4S from Ducati. Absolutely incredible bike. One of my favorite today, if not the favorite. I'll see you on the next one, folks. Thank you very much. My name's Richard Vida. Thank you very much, everybody. Look after yourselves, be good, be careful, and be kind. See ya.